Hey everybody, I want to show you a couple of command line tools for manipulating uh, everybody's favorite data representation format, JSON. The JSON file that we're going to use as an example here is what's called a HAR file. HAR stands for HTTP Archive. This is something that uh, you can produce from your browser debugging tools. It records all of the HTTP requests and responses that happen during uh, your browser session. So the first tool that I want to use to start poking around and figuring out what the heck a HAR file has in it, it is called the JSON Incremental Digger. So you run it like this, you just pipe your document into it using standard shell redirection. And when it fires up, it shows you a nice formatted view of your document. Uh, you may have noticed when I ran the ls command that this file is really big. Uh, so it's kind of the first thing that I like to do when I fire up JID is get a sense of the lay of the land. So if I hit control L, uh, it will switch into a mode where it shows only the keys of the current object. So this shows me that the top level structure of this document has only a single key in it called log. And if I hit tab and hit another period, I can see that inside that log object, there are five keys. And then I can pick one of those that I want to dig into. So let's say I'm interested in pages. What pages did I have loaded? Ah, JID has helpfully shown me that this is an array. If I hit Control L again, I can actually see the value, the contents of this array. And I can just keep digging down in here like this as far as I want to go, all the way down to a leaf value. And then I can back all the way back out to the top level. And I can hit my control L again to get back into uh, kind of key only mode to see what other keys I might want to look at. The next one that looks interesting is the entries key. Here again, that's an array. I'm just going to pick the very first element of the array and then again hit control L. And I can see that this is a, a fairly big sub document here. So I'm going to take a look at the request sub document still pretty big I'll hit control L again and see what its keys are and uh, one that looks interesting is URL so obviously I can see what the URL of this request was so I'm just gonna grab that string and copy it to the clipboard and then we'll drop out and we'll take a look at the next tool which is called JQ so again I'm going to use standard shell redirection uh, to pipe the document into JQ and I can use that exact same uh, semant that exact same syntax to pull out the URL of the first entry in this HAR file. Now uh, JQ is more powerful it allows me to do things like apply this dot request dot URL to every element in the entries array and that gives me a big long list of all of the URLs that occur in this HAR file all the URLs that were requested the next thing I can do uh, inside I'm still I'm inside the the filter that I've specified for JQ here so I can use this is exactly analogous to a shell pipe here I can use a pipe in JQ and say I would like to select only the URLs that contain a particular string. So for example, if I want to see are there any URLs that look like they might be part of Facebook's API, I can do this and indeed that turns up five URLs, two distinct URLs here. So that's a brief taste of what you can do with JID and JQ. Thanks for watching. I'll post the links to these two tools homepages in the video description.